Carbon is a hexagon and it makes for a very perfect molecule for energy transfer or information transfer for living uh, items, which is our living beings, which is why organic chemistry centers around carbon. Carbon is the perfect molecule uh, to do metabolic processes or DNA inscription transfer of uh, genetic information, things like that. So this is carbon. This is actually uh, polished uh, shungite, which is not 98% uh, uh, pure, like elite shungite. Crazy thing is, is I was in a tub and in kind of a certain space, and this thing floated and sat right on top. Haven't figured that out, but thus my fascination with shungite. So carbon, and if I put the positive and negative and run the current through the rock, watch what happens goes all the way down to zero. Now, how can a chunk of coal go all the way down to zero? The reason is, is because the valence electrons, the outer electrons of this spinning soccer ball, all like polarize and are able to line up to allow the current to go from one side to the other without any blockage, which is pretty dang cool. Nothing like it. So you get this really weird looking rock, looks like a chunk of beautiful coal or polished coal. This comes from Karelia uh, in Russia <clears throat> and uh, only exists pretty much in the one place where you can find it and it has really crazy properties. Uh, antibacterial, antiseptic, but also is has been used in um, in AIDS research. It actually can break apart the capsule that holds the transcriptive uh, RNA inside the, uh, the AIDS virus and um, expose that and neutralize it. So there's been a lot of research on that, and you can see it. This is uh, what they call noble shungite, and this is the expensive stuff, okay? But there's a lot of fake stuff here. So this is a good one, and I test all of the ones that I get to make sure that they're good. And how do I test them? By seeing how they work as conductors. This one right here, zero, 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 no resistance whatsoever um, at this squelch level, and the current flows directly through. Now, let me show you a piece of uh, sketchy shungite. I've got this one here. Now, watch what happens when I go to this one. Now, this one is in the same batch, okay? So, um, or, you know, you can go to a jewelry store. You want to just make sure that you get the real stuff. So I'll just go ahead and put my current through it. And you'll see right here that it never gets to zero. In fact, all the electrons are trying to push their way through. And you see how the numbers constantly change. You won't see that in anything else. It almost never stabilizes. It's like there's a lot of confusion. And I'm not touching anything. I just hold it here. And you'll see that the resistance changes, but it never goes to zero. Now, this is a low-quality noble shungite stone because of something in it that's wrong. Um, now, I'll show you the same principle, but with a flashlight. Now, this flashlight here, I took the back off. What you're seeing is the uh, negative pole and the body itself will then connect to the positive pole. So, basically, this is like... Um, this right here, my hand, is a circuit. When you open the circuit, the electrons can't flow through, right? So right now, because there's no lid screwed on the back, it's an open circuit. I want to bridge it with something in here, which would then be the shungite stone. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll touch the back uh, pole of where the battery would go and then touch it to the body. And then you'll see that it's a very, very weak... Uh, signal. Okay? That means that something in this bridge is not conducting the electrons through. Now, let's take a good piece of shungite, one that I tested that had zero resistance on my multimeter. I'll put this one on the back pole, this one, and look at that baby light up. Okay? So it's the same thing here. You can see you can't test um, how pure it is, but you can kind of visually see. Um, so all of these guys here in this little pile, kind of same thing. If I touch it there and go here, extremely bright. But if I take my uh, iffy one, 
this one right here and I just go ahead and touch it there and there you'll see that it is uh, weaker okay oh and by the way as you can see and it did it on the multimeter that the current would just go on and off even though you hold it and you can't really see it but the intensity of the light changes or it goes off and that's because what's happening inside this guy is all of the valence electrons, the outer electrons of these C60 spheres are trying to resonate and let everything go through it, but something about it is blocking. So, let's take a piece of absolute fake shungite, okay? This one, some, you know, they're, oh, yeah, 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 we have shungite for you, but it's not shungite, and there's a lot of counterfeit out there. And they might charge 35 bucks for this thing, but it's completely useless. Now, I'm not going to diss anybody who buys this and goes, oh, my God, I just completely feel um, how this is uh, reversing the spin of those, um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, whatever the antigens or the the toxins or whatever that are coming into the biological system that's a whole nother video on how this stuff works but um you know so you can do the placebo effect and think yeah wow i feel felt such a great difference but this is fake 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 i'm just going ahead and put this here and there and you'll see that there's no current going through it whatsoever so just to review this is kind of the sketchy one and you look on the back, never gets to zero, never gets to a clean signal all the way across. This is a good piece. I'm just going to put it here, and you'll see that it goes to zero. And last but not least, I'm going to show you a, uh, a loony, and interesting enough that the loony. This here is a Canadian quarter. Bang, goes straight to zero. That means everything goes across. So you get one of these things and you start to have a lot of fun with it, right? And you go, huh, I wonder if this seahorse conducts electricity or conducts uh, current, which it will not do. So anyway, that is how I test for real shungite or fake. If I can get the current to go all the way through to zero, all that means all of the valence electrons are lining up and it is pure and by the way um, I can go all throughout different parts of it it's not going to matter because still what's going to happen is all of the different fullerenes have to line up all of the uh, valence electrons have to line up and give you zero all the way throughout this this entire thing is resonating with current going from the positive pole to the negative pole how cool is that right and again just going to close the circuit up and watch it go to zero so again what i'm doing here is one is closed this is resistance what i'm doing was when i put anything between these two i'm going to measure how much signal goes from the top to the bottom or how much of it gets choked by something inside the material that's not allowing it to pass through okay shungite